Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and I want to thank my colleague, the member for Dufferin Caledon, uh, the member for Hamilton Mountain, the members for Kitchener, Conestoga, and Algoma, Manitoulin, for their comments as well. Um, I want to just touch on a couple of quick things. One is that I mentioned many of the uh, family lawyers that I had spoken to, and there seemed to be a consensus that there was a problem with CPIN in terms of being able to search for within documents. We all know that one of the key um, points of having a computerized system is so that you can do multiple searches, not just one search, but you can do all kinds of complicated searches. For example, in medical records, you could search a medication. If there's a problem with a batch of medication, search for a medication, it goes through everybody's file and it prints out everybody's name who is on that medication. And that's, you can imagine what kind of time it would take to go through paper charts looking for that kind of information. Well, the lawyers say that, yes, they can get up a printed copy of a chart, but it's very repetitive because of the way it's designed, that it doesn't have a system in place to erase stuff that's repeating uh, the same uh, page or paragraph or box that it was in. Um, and they can't search within a document. They can't search for a keyword, a certain name. They could get pages and pages for a child's document, and they have to read through it if they want to find something. And that's really redundant and a waste of everybody's time, especially if the lawyers are charging a client or their legal aid or lawyers and they're charging the taxpayer. So I would like to see some huge improvements in terms of the searchability of CPIN. I also want to remind everybody that October is Child Abuse Prevention Month, and that that's uh, important in our community that we have to speak out that the uh, child welfare workers are there to help the children, but they can't be the eyes and ears in every community, that we need people to get involved and to speak out and to uh, not just use social media for the day or the month, but to um, to use it to break the silence. We have 165,000 referrals in Ontario to our aid societies in 2015-16, so that number is rising. And um, unfor it's unfortunate, Mr. Speaker, but we need to ensure that our children are safe as much as possible. Thank, Thank you. you.